Brother and lads, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, everything has been agreed and confirmed between Arsenal and Alexander Zichenko and also between Arsenal and Manchester City. Alexander Zichenko will become an Arsenal player in the next very, very few hours. Personal terms now are great. A few details being ironed out according to Rudy Galletti. We're going to be diving into what the personal terms include. And that clause of positional assurances uh, that the player must be availed a position in the central midfield. He definitely wants to play there. And Mikel Atta being a disciple uh, of the elbow system. We understand that the, that is a position that naturally up, you know, appears whenever Arsenal play in an elbow system. But the question is, is, is Oleg Zichenko really a backup to Kieran Tierney or is he a player that is going to come in and play ahead of Kieran Tierney? Huge question to answer there. Many people might say because he's only a backup. But think about it, £35 million. Pounds. 30 look a, a deal in excess of 30 million pounds that that player is always no backup we're gonna be talking about oh that hit the like button for me um and subscribe to the podcast let's get this video to 800 likes and talk to me would you prefer zichenko starting over kiantia uh, um if he, if he played at left back and if he played in that central midfield, would you prefer him starting over Yuri Tillemans and Granny Jaka? Because it looks like defensively, he has better numbers than them. And going forward, he's much more capable in that very, very position. Now, according to Rudy Galetti, this is what he's put out uh, just seconds ago. He has said everything is now confirmed. Alexander Zichenko will leave Manchester City. The player is now one. The Ukrainian player is one way uh, is one step away from joining Arsenal Football Club at the moment. Just a few details and a discussion before the done deal bell is rung. And finally, we'll be getting our here we go endorsement from Fabrizio Romano. But of course, we are very patient. We've been patient all summer. And this one, we will not trash. But what I want to talk about here first and foremost is uh, uh, the personal terms, not the salary. Because with Alexander Zichenko, his priority and his concern um, with this whole kind of move has not been with the salary and, and, and kind of money he's been earning at Manchester City. Although Manchester City would love to keep the player and would have loved to keep him around the club, his intentions and his reasons for leaving Manchester City and the uh, Etihad Stadium... Uh, have been very, very clear. He wants more game time, regular game time. That is one. Uh, and two, he wants um, he wants a positional assurances in the midfield. Now, we understand that he plays as a central uh, midfielder for Ukraine. You can go and watch a couple of his clips in um, uh, on YouTube uh, while on international duty. Of course, he's captaining that Ukrainian side. But he predominantly plays in the midfield. He doesn't play as a left back. He's comfortable uh, and always playing in the central midfield for Ukraine. And if he, he believes as a player that that is his position. Look, don't get me wrong. He's very, very versatile. You can play him at left back. You can play him uh, at central midfield. You can play him in a couple of other positions. I think Glenn, da uh, Glenn Kartley, everything Arsenal, has done a video... Of the six positions you can play uh, Alexander Zichenko in. And I, I would employ you to go and watch that video because it's very, very helpful to understanding the player and the personal terms. So, talking to Arsenal, one, uh, he's told them, I need regular game time. And this is a player that we understand at the moment has very interesting statistics if you compare him to Granit Xhaka and very interesting statistics if you compare him to uh, Kieran Tierney. So, this is... Uh, uh, his head-to-head -head comparison with uh, with Granit Xhaka. Uh, and, and this is when both of them play as central midfielders or in the in the middle of the park. Obviously, Xhaka plays with uh, plays on that left-hand side of the midfield, and Alexander Zichenko, being left-footed, would also play on that left-hand side of the midfield. But what you're looking at here, lads, is you're looking at you know areas where Alexander Zichenko is actually beating. Granit Xhaka, massively, massively, and I, I, I you, you know, you, you, you've got to really wonder 
Alexander Zichenko is not a starter at Manchester City and Granit Xhaka is a starter at Arsenal. It just points out what I've been talking about for, for the last three years on this podcast, 2019, 2020, 2021 and 2022. Xhaka is good, but to play for Arsenal, you cannot even compare him to Alexander Zichenko a player that is not even a regular for Manchester City. So look at this. Let, let's let, let's look at their comp, uh, let's look at their um, statistics around here. Uh, in the central midfield, area dwells one. Zichenko winning uh, with one point two nine. Uh, Xhaka averaging one point zero four. Uh, tackles per ninety. One point two one four. Uh, Alexander Zichenko. 0.69 for Xhaka. One, uh, interceptions, 1.21 for Alexander Zichenko per 90 and 0.81 for Granit Xhaka. Forward passes, 24.7 for Alexander Zichenko, 19.64 um, for, uh, uh, for Xhaka. Chances created per 90, 1.38 for Alexander Zichenko um, and 1.24 for Granit Xhaka. Passing accuracy, again, Zichenko is better at 90.73%. Pass, um, you know, passes, uh, possession one, uh, number of possession one, uh, uh, 2.67 per 90, Xhaka 2.2. And pos uh, possession one, uh, uh, in, in, that is uh, in the middle of the third, Xhaka is, um, uh, Xhaka is better with 2.9 and Alexander Zichenko is um, at 2.69. Now, what those, two, th what those statistics show is that th these players have been compared across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 areas of competition as central midfielders and Xhaka is only beating Alexander Zichenko in one area that is winning the ball in the middle of the park that is where that is the only statistic that Xhaka is averaging better than Alexander Zichenko so in my opinion a player signing for 30 million pounds at a club like arsenal although we are trying to improve and get uh a, you know class a players per position it also means that there's some guarantees uh and there are some assurances especially if, if if the player is a senior player a player entering his prime and the player who is not ready to sit on the bench again because he's coming from manchester city where he's been sitting on the bench he's coming to an Arsenal side that are assuring him you're gonna be a startup and you get uh, you're gonna get a uh, regular game time so for me by default with those statistics he's 100 percent already ahead of granny jacker so i mean you would love to ask yourself whether this affects the yuri telemans deal but i will talk about that later in this video but let's talk about um the left back position where he would where you would compare him to Kieran Tierney, and this is uh, what you are going to find. You might be shocked, uh, but please do not be shocked, right? So I would love to compare him to Kieran Tierney alone, uh, not compared with uh, not uh, with Nuno Tavares, because with Nuno Tavares, the level of experience of these th uh, these two uh, could actually be some kind of a disadvantage. So if you compared him to uh, Kieran Tierney, that is uh, in the 2021 uh 2022 campaign last campaign per 90 both uh both of them averaging more than a thousand minutes uh last campaign of course currently playing more minutes than alexander zichenko uh playing actually currently Kier played 900 more minutes than alexander zichenko uh goals conceded 0 0.778 for alexander zichenko and 0. um 0. Uh, 0.99 for uh for Kieran Tierney. of course one of the reasons why uh Alexander Zichenko conceded very very few goals is uh is, is also because um is because of the fact that he played very very few games right um taco success six point uh, that is a uh, six point zero three uh, uh that is a uh, taco success red uh Kieran Tierney, three point six uh I think he beats him you know highly there interceptions 1.21 0 0.7 for Kieran Tierney chances created 1.38 0 0.94 for Kieran Tierney dribble success is 4.3 uh, for Alexander Zichenko and 1.56 for Kieran Tierney does anyone sense what I'm sensing what I'm trying to talk about here lads is we're talking about a player who can play very well in a central midfield area and also in that left back area but a player that is massively producing better numbers than our own players now
uh, these numbers could reduce significantly uh, because he's coming into a side like Arsenal that will not be on the ball much of the time. Right, uh, will not be will not be having huge amounts of uh, time uh, time on the ball uh, and huge amounts of position as compared to Manchester City. So some of this uh, some of these statistics uh, might drop, including uh, or to point out just a few. I think um, chances created might drop uh, from one point three eight per ninety to probably zero point nine, just like uh, Karantiani. Uh and then. Uh, the dribble success rate, I think, cannot drop. Uh, that one is naturally, he is naturally better than Karantiani. Uh, tackle success rate, uh, success rate also doesn't drop. Uh, because, I mean, whether you're playing for Manchester City or you're playing for, uh, for Arsenal, you need to press and you need to throw yourself into the wear of the ball and the, uh, and the way, uh, of the opponent. You need to have a clean, uh, a clean, success rate and i think alexander zienko is averaging that more than Kirantiani. so the question for me lads is does he start ahead of Kirantiani? does he start yes for granite jacker i do not care as long as anyone is an upgrade to granite jacker um i would say start them over granite jacker but with Kirantiani, arsenal's arsenal fans dearest our captain in theory does this start over Karantiani? This is what I'm going to say. Having ha having got those reassurances uh, and assurances that he's going to be having regular game time, I think Mikel has already created a natural spot uh, for Alexander Zdjenko. And that is playing him as uh, as in playing him in an elbow system, more of uh, an inverted left back. Uh, left back. Now, if you if you have some time, go and look for a video done by James Lawrence Alcott, uh, the elbow system. Literally, it uh, it explains why uh, Tomiyasu plays narrowly um, and a little bit more conservative, and why Karantini has been given a lot of freedom on the ball, starting from the midfield, going up, you know, going um, upwards uh, up the pitch. Now, Alexander Zichenko is a player that wants to play in the middle of the park. And the player that we understand is very, very good in that area. So if Arsenal cannot play him, probably as a central midfielder, we will create an, a second central midfield role uh, for him. And that is literally uh, playing him in that elbow system. Playing him as an inverted uh, uh, left back or playing him uh, as, um, as not really as a left back, but playing him as, as a left wing back, right? Starting from the middle of the pitch, going forward that means he has to do uh less defensive duty uh for the team not really really less defensive duty because we know pep Guardiola sides defend together and Mikel Arteta sides as well as uh, as striving to reach the same levels defending together and attacking together as well i won't be very surprised if alexander zichenko as we deep dive into the season he overtakes kieran Tierney in who starts for arsenal and eventually Tierney becomes the backup player and Alexander Zichenko becomes the starter because he's got more qualities uh, offensively and that is what Mikel Arteta is looking for in that, in that role. He's looking for someone who is very, very attack-minded, someone who is very, very successful uh, in, um, in, in going forward but also can help with, uh, you know, uh, with the defensive duties when called upon. So, Personal terms are great as according to uh, Rudy Galetti for um, Alexander Zichenko. Deal is going to be announced very, very soon. All the best for him at Arsenal. All the best.